Smoky Day. Hey everyone, Claymore here. It's late in the night, almost midnight here in the Philippines. Kind of sleepy, but I cannot wait for tomorrow to do this unboxing. I gotta do this now. This is not a knife, but it's definitely sharp. Definitely a sharp stuff. It's obviously written on the box. What is this? And this is a rifle. So the CZ brand 805. It doesn't have tape on it because this has undergone some inspections already. So no more tapes to cut. And this is just about opening the box. Uh -huh. Now let's remove this cardboard. Holy shit. Look at that. Before I touch that, let's check what else came with it in the box. So this is a magazine. Just one magazine? This is a 30 round magazine. It's marked CZ. We got here the um, sling. Manual. Woo. Cleaning kit. I think this is the cleaning kit. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the right for itself. Boy, oh boy. Ah! Look at this pretty thing. Man. This one is the 14 inch barrel version. I would have wanted the 11 inch barrel but due to the availability of that unit I was just granted to get this one so what do we have here Picatinny rail on the top we got rails on both sides and underneath the handrail I'm gonna need a forward hand grip on this one maybe a magpul forward hand grip what I see here is this uh, fire selector safety semi-auto uh, two bursts and this one is got five dots or uh, full auto I don't know I have yet to honestly I have not uh, researched on this one I have not watched a review on this one. Judging it with the pictures in the internet, it kinda it kinda give me an impression that this is a cumbersome and big and heavy rifle because it's kinda thick, you know. It's kinda thick. So it gave me imp an impression that this is a heavy rifle, but come on man. It's so lightweight. Okay. Let's check us if this is indeed a safe weapon. This is a safe weapon. Let's check out the trigger on this one. Ambidextrous fire selector. Let's let's check out the trigger pull. Oh man. It's easy. Before this rifle arrived, I was already thinking what will be the uh, mods that I'm going to make. What accessories I'm going to buy for it. But I don't think I'm going to buy anything for this one. I was, I already have a spare uh, muzzle brake there to replace this stock. But look at this stuff. I don't think it needs replacement. It looks good. Let's just find out at the range how it handles the recoil. And we'll will decide if there is a need for me to change the muzzle brake um what else uh stock sides they're they're awesome front side uh, 
folding butt stock. You gotta fold this, press this one to fold it. Because I was thinking that it's gonna be a very long rifle. But it's not, man, especially when the stock is folded. Awesome, awesome thing. I cannot wait to see this in action at the range. Let's see how it looks with the magazine on. This is an empty magazine. This is the one that came with it. Look at that. The good thing about this is that it will accommodate the uh, just the standard uh, 556 magazine. Let's try it. So this is a CAA 30 round magazine. Wow, there you go. Fits perfectly. This is a big gun. Big but light. This is an American Tactical 60 round magazine. Let's see how it looks. Clicked. It's gonna be heavy when this when this is fully loaded. so i guess that will be it for now this is just an unboxing maybe i'll take some videos how this bad boy does on the range we'll see about that here at the range we're shooting this bad boy and it's rocking a holosun 510c optics This is super comfortable to shoot and very stable. It's shooting a bit low because I have zeroed this thing at a 100 meter distance and what we have here is just a 12, 12 meter distance here, so shooting low. Now let's uh, shoot it while mounted and test the accuracy. Short distance though. Here it is, nice accuracy, good groupings, well it's a very short distance anyway. It's really a pleasure shooting this one. Such a lovely thing. Now it's worth noting that you cannot rack the charging handle if uh, it's on safety. You gotta unsafe it first to be able to rack the charging handle. One hand shooting to show the excellent recoil management on this rifle. Here's the two bullet bursts. Nice one. And then let's do the full auto. Check that out. One more time. No muzzle climb. Yeah. 
the CZ805 brand handsome rifle this one I installed a Holosun 510 red dot optics a budget friendly one which does the job good I installed a surefire scout light a CAA forward hand grip it's got a 60 round American tactical magazine Overall, it's got an imposing look, very comfortable to shoot, good recoil management, and overall fun gun. I guess that's it for now. I cannot make a review on this one. I am no gun expert. And there's a lot of videos out there if you want reviews on how this thing performs. You can check it out. For me, I'm just glad that... I got one of these bad boys and uh, I'm going to enjoy having it. Alright, so that's it for now. Keep safe everyone. Till next time.